Oh, eight. Oh, God! Eights are nice to see, though. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. There's four. And then six. <laughs> Make the eight! <laughs> Make it! Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, wait. That's the only one we have! Because <laughs> look! Two, well, three, four, put a put a put a thingy right there. Oh, true, that's true, true. Be... Yeah, I can do that. I hope it <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! You made three. Put it, put it there! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, ow! Sorry, it's okay. Uh. <laughs> so this is probably no. real, real fat. <laughs> Hold, just no, just. just <laughs> Peek the mic in my ear. Just real fast, just imagine a wolf. It looks like a wolf face. I don't care what I'm it sorry. looks like. I want it to fucking be over. Well, can you block off space with the fours? I can try. Oh my god. Will you fucking stop? I just want you to figure shit out. I don't understand why I gotta be such a big fucking issue. I'll make fucking thank you. God. Oh, put it, put it next there. <laughs> you found a pear bottle. That's what I'm waiting for. Something <laughs> fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what, what that is. What the fuck is- A blood test? I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. It's gonna be that whore. Forensic report cross was waiting for. If I'm reading this right, these blood results mean I have to talk, take this to cross. This changes everything. What do you mean? I'm telling you, every single case is gonna be we found the murderer. Never mind, it's not the murderer. Cross, where's Bobby? Talking to his lawyer. Why? Dick's blood test came back, and well, see for yourself. He was poisoned. Of course he was. Yeah. I don't believe it. This says, and that means Bobby Price couldn't have killed Dick Stanford because he was already dead. I don't understand. Bobby confessed. The robot's got a point, and there was a strangulation mark on Dick's throat. I never said Bobby was lying. He did strangle Dick, but that wasn't what killed him. According to this blood test, Dick was poisoned. He died before Bobby even laid a finger on him. Tell me Bobby Price strangled a corpse? <laughs> that is kind of stupid. I don't even know if that's legal or illegal or not. It's, but, li it's illegal. <laughs> but that means whoever killed Dick is still loose. Not for long. We've got the whole building in lockdown. Wherever it is, we've got them cornered. That means there's still time. Let's go! Wait a second, how did you get out of the building? One of your officers thinks I'm your personal assistant. Gee, I don't know how they got that idea. You know, you two make a great argument for early retirement. Yeah, make us a detective. Let us kind of do your job. He's out on bail, one of the benefits of being a TV star, I guess. Good lawyers. So he's gone? What if we still need to question him about something? He's not going anywhere. One of the conditions of his bail is that he cooperates with the investigation. Don't forget, I've done this a hundred times. I know what I'm doing. Unlike you. Detective, I saw you taking Bobby Price into custody. I always knew he was trouble. In that case, I'm sorry to disappoint you. He's innocent. Innocent? Are you sure? Found the evidence myself, Mom. Dick was poisoned. Uh, but don't worry, we'll catch a real killer soon. I've had just about enough of this. How many times do I have to tell you? You're not detectives. But I, I don't want to hear it. I let it slide when, you're, when it was about your friend, but this? You're out of your death, Ms. Rahi. We've solved the case for you, though, basically. Twice now! We want to help, here's a job for you. A hot pink 4x4 was double parked out front. It was getting to uh, towed as we arrived. Why don't you two use your detective skills of yours to find the owner? They need to go collect it from the impound lot. Forget about it, Scout. He's just trying to keep us out of his way. You're damn right I am. You think this stupid car is more important than finding a murderer? Absolutely not, but it's the only thing we're going to let you investigate around here. Take it or leave it. Perhaps we should just investigate the car, Honor. Whose side are you on? You even got your first piece of evidence. They checked inside before it got towed and found something on the dash. Let me take a look. Oh! Jesus Christ! Can't we just look at it like normal people? Please! Alright, so that goes there and there. That's huge. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Space. One, two, three. Space. Um, that has to be the two. That's- that's three. <laughs> what? 
It was the seal. Oh, it's sealed with blood. Oh. Oh, fuck you. I know this shit show isn't over when I see a C rank. I know. Seems to be a letter. Great. New lead in the most pointless errand ever. Detective Cross will us investigate the murder. We don't have, have to give it up. We should focus on what we can do instead. He can only we just, like, fucking read the letter? Like, yeah. I, we don't have to have this exposition of, He won't let us do this, but we found this! Just open it! Just fucking open it! That might be what he intended, but we can still use it to our advantage. He's given us a chance to show what we can do. You're right, Scout. Up until now, he's always been there. But now we can prove that we can handle something without any help. Right, we just have to find out who this letter was sent to. Nothing we can't handle. We are a team after all, so what does it say? Can't make it to the order tonight, sweetie. Your idiot father's remodeling the kitchen again. I hope this cute car makes up for it. Lots of love, Mom. Got a pretty good idea of who this belongs to. It's Becky's. Yeah. Just one second, Anna Rizar. You're not going anywhere until we talk about this detective nonsense you've gotten yourself into. Sorry, Mom, you heard Detective Cross. We have to find out who owns that car. Oh, don't worry about him. He understands the situation perfectly well. Oh. I guess talk to him. I guess so. Mom will let me go, which is not a sentence I thought I'd have to say at 29 years old. She, you should listen to her. She's only got your safety in mind. A letter. I have a theory about who this letter was sent to. I don't want to hear about it until you know for sure. Second rule police work. Never show your hand unless you're certain. What's well, the first rule? Never handcuff a suspect to anything they can carry. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave them. Yeah. Goodbye. I guess go find Becky. Oh, no, we can uh, really do that. I guess talk to your mom? I guess so. So you're doing detective work now. Yes, yeah. It's hard to explain, but why? Why do this? You had the job you wanted on that stupid TV program. I lost that job, Mom. Someone wanted me off the show so badly that Blake got killed over it. I can't go back. So find another show. There must be others. God knows there's enough crap on TV these days. You should be happy. You never wanted me to be an actress anyway. Happy? Happy that you're risking your neck chasing down murderers? I know you don't agree with it, but you're damn right I don't agree with it. Have you lost your mind? After everything that happened to your father? How can you even say that? Uh, no, I don't care about what he's poisoned about that. Just start asking about his father. Right, Jesus! Nobody cares about the guy dead in the backstage. He's 90. He was going to die anyway. <laughs> How can you say I've forgotten what happened to dad? I flew back that night. I quit college. Then you know damn well why I can't let you go down that road. He spent his whole life chasing criminals and look where it got him. Don't you dare try to tell me what he would have wanted. I knew him a lot longer than you did. You know what? You're right. I didn't know Dad very well. He never talked to me. Don't be ridiculous. He talked to you. You did lots of things together. He read to you every night. I know. Philip Marlowe, Sherlock Holmes, Perot. Perot. He introduced me to Stupid ass. all the great detectives, but never himself. That's not his fault. It was hard enough for him to talk to me about his work. You were just a kid. He was my dad. Didn't I deserve a chance to know him? All I have to offer is, is the fiction. It's not the same. Can't put yourself in danger just to feel closer to your father. Focus on the memories he left you, the photographs. That's why you gave me the locket. I wouldn't have given. I would have given it to you sooner if I'd known that you were what you were doing. It's so good to see Dad at the Brown Derby again. Did you take the photo? Me? I never went to the Brown Derby. A restaurant that looks like a hat. Damn fool idea, if you ask me. He always went there with his work friends, his captain, his partner. Forget about it. It's not important. So Dad went to the Brown Derby with his partner. I don't remember Dad having a partner. Of course he had a partner. He was in the police you force. You don't get a partner in the police force. If anyone could understand- You under get the poor sucker that stepped out on the fucking thing. You went, hey, that son of a bitch. <laughs> if anyone could understand what I'm doing, it would be Dad's old partner. I think they'd tell you to listen to me and keep yourself safe. That's what your father would have wanted. I guess go back to that motherfucking clown. Let's find out my dad had a partner in the LAPD. Do you think he can help me find him? Sorry, I'm homicide, not missing persons. I know, I just, if I could find them, they might be able to tell me more about my dad. I make a point of not knowing people these days, makes the job easier. I've got a photo of dad out. <sighs> I found three restaurant. Can't you at least show it around the station? Look, there are a lot of cops in the force, and the Brown Derby was a popular place. I can't help you. I didn't mention the Brown Derby. Dumbass. What? How'd you know it was my dad's favorite restaurant? Like I said, it was a popular place. Just a lucky guess. I don't know. It's a small world. Wait a sec. I never noticed before, but the photo in the locket is folded in half. Scott, take a look at this! 
Ah! Oh. <laughs> you make nine and four. Where is it? I'm gonna say this place. Ah! Ah! You okay? It's called a heat. I haven't thick thighs. I don't fit anywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't help. Our chairs are awkwardly tall. Ah! What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to do? I want leg <laughs> All right, here, then let me right. let me help scoot your chair back. Oh, you're gonna help me for something? Yes! That's a miracle. God. <laughs> Damn, bitch. What is that? Death? Why is that going there? I didn't mean to place it. Liar! That's a two. <laughs> Make eight! I was gonna check the boxes off first. No, fuck the boxes. We don't gotta do all that shit. Photograph. A photograph that's folded in half to so look like my ass. Ah! <laughs> I, don't I don't believe, believe it. it. You're in this, this photo right next to my dad. Mind. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Is Krista still home? Uh, no. She's been gone for like an hour. Oh, thank God. Worked with your father for ten years. We were partners. Oh my god, unbelievable. So you bad. knew all this time. You knew who I was. Not at first. I hadn't seen you since you were a baby. Joshua always tried to keep work and family separate. But when I saw you working in a solid case, it all clicked. It was like seeing him alive again after all these years. Why didn't you say something? It's just as annoying. Yeah, it's done. It's done! There's nothing in it! Oh, hey, you know who you remind me of? My dead partner. Besides, it was never the right time. I need you to respect me as an officer of the law, not one of your dad's old friends. I thought you hated me. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble. Joshua saved my ass so many times out on patrol. The Why least I can do is- Why do you care if he hates you? I don't know. Were you there when he- Yes. Yeah, I shot him. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting that. for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was paid to do it. Maybe I can't stop you from trying to be a detective. God knows nothing could stop Joshua once he had a lead. So go right ahead, look for evidence, question people. I won't stop you, but I'm watching you like a hawk. As soon as I think you're going too far, as soon as I think you're in real danger, it ends. Do you understand me? No. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Can I get paid? I don't hate you, Honor. I get what you're trying to do, but I have to make sure you don't get yourself in above your head. I own that much. You okay? Do I look okay, Scout? Yeah, it was just a lot. <laughs> what happened to your dad? Mom never told me the details. I he love just how went you out said to work one that day. When he's, I honestly said father, but I, that's okay. Trying to be funny. You're not funny. You left with a blank space in your past. I understand. But Detective Cross may be able to give you some answers. Didn't you? He already said he doesn't want to talk about it. Not yet, but he gave us permission to keep investigating. He may be coming around. I don't know, he wasn't exactly enthusiastic. Seems like everyone's telling me to give up. Just because everyone's against you doesn't mean they are, that, uh, that they're right. <laughs> I guess Sometimes we'll to, they are. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's get out of here. We've still got to talk to whoever owns that car. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, fuck you. We're leaving. <laughs> Backstage. Fuck you, bitch. Hi, uh, Becky. Becky. They, they told your uh, car. She's been in the bathroom since she left the ceremony. Do you think she knows that Dick's been murdered? Knowing Becky, she'll probably think he deserved it for not giving her that award. Becky? Welcome back. I was worried you were going to stay in the restroom all night. What? Don't be stupid. I just had to fix my makeup. That's all. Did you hear what happened? Of course I did. The cops even made me give a statement. Like, what's the point? I didn't see anything. If that wasn't bad enough, Bobby Price just tried to make a pass at me. It's hard work in the center of attention. Uh... Please. Please. Just, for the love of God, present her the envelope. We don't need to know. Did you hear that Dick was murdered? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> this whole time. But what if the viewers care? I've been spoon-fed the same information talking <laughs> to the same people. <laughs> I'm about to lose my mind. Did you hear the guy was murdered? Like, she just said it. She just said the dude was murdered. Do you have to ask her again? Do you know the guy's murdered? You know you're doing the same exact thing, <laughs> it's right? It's just torture. <laughs> Cops found it on the dash of a pink 4x4 outside. Was that your car? Because it's been towed. Good. All I wanted was for my parents to see me win a Starshine Award, and they couldn't even do that. Mom thinks she can buy my forgiveness from hideous hot pink monster monstrosity. 
Glad it got two. They can crush the damn thing for all I care. By the way, I'm gonna need a ride home. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. I know it's uh, I know what it's like to not have your parents' support. It sucks. Why couldn't they just be here? You'll need them. You've got us. Forget it's it. Only parents. Yeah. You've solved the mystery of the pink car. Now Detective Cross will finally trust us. I won't get your hopes up. He only gave us that case to keep us busy. I didn't. E I bet he didn't even count on us solving it so fast. <laughs> We're a great team, like Holmes and Watson, Cagney and Lacey, Shaggy and Scooby. Really need to talk about how much TV you're watching. No mystery will go unsolved. No stone left unpunished. No criminal left unturned. <laughs> Carly's shaking. I'm gonna fucking come on, partner. There's murder to solve. Hey, wait up! <laughs> wait. Well, you don't have to question her. No. You go to go to the dressing room. I don't fucking care. Back to the crime scene at last. It'll be easier to search the place now that Cross isn't bringing down our necks. Understood. Setting scan mode to high resolution. You didn't set that before? Why would it? Chair. We've discovered a chair, honey. Oh, 